Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 6 of Crusader Kings 2 with the Reaper's Dew DLC. And I uh, just noticed something loading the game in for the first time this week that we might actually have a chance of pulling something off that I didn't think would be possible this early in the game. It's still a very risky thing to do and I haven't thought this through yet so we're just going to take a look at this. So obviously starting the game as a Duke with the Duke of Burgundy and we start under a king, it's very, very difficult early in the game to actually become the king. Because in order to do that, you need to take so much land or just straight up beat the king for the kingdom. Or we could even just try and get independence, which is another possibility. One of the big issues that we have at the moment is because we are of, um, is it Agnatic Cognatic Gavelkind, I believe it's called. Uh, where are we? Inheritance. Yeah, Agnatic Cognatic Gavelkind, which basically means if we die, all of our titles get split up between our sons. So I actually own a double duchy at the moment, and if I were to die, then uh, my oldest son would claim my uh, main title, which would be the um, Duchy of Burgundy, but my second eldest son would then claim the, um, the other duchy that I have. Now, I've got the map mode here in du jour duchy mode. You can see the du jour duchy of Burgundy. But if I actually go and click on the realms mode and then just uh, control and click on my territory, you can actually see that I own all of this territory, all of this territory, and I also own this up here for some random reason as well. Now, if we just go back and look at the realms, we are part of the kingdom of Middle Francia. Now, Middle Francia is this bit, which is all me. This bit, which is mainly me, and this bit up here. So as far as Middle Francia goes, most of it is me. We potentially could defeat the king of Middle Francia. He has a total of 1.11k troops available. We have 2.25k. So the question is... He doesn't have any pacts either. Now, he does have some vassals. And obviously, each of his vassals are pretty powerful. And obviously, I'm one of his vassals also. We could always go and hire some mercenaries before we get started. Now, the question is, what sort of a CB could we get against him? Or even better still, do we have CBs on anybody else that we could press? Unfortunately not. I was thinking if we had CBs that we could actually press against um, another one of these uh, counties, we could remove a few vassals from beneath the king, and that would then make it slightly easier to be able to um, uh, fight against the king. But let's have a look at the king. Obviously, we know we've got a, um independence CB. But not a CB for the kingdom. I mean, we could certainly give it a try. Um, let's think about actually hiring some um, mercenaries. Now, obviously, they can be quite expensive. Um, so there's the uh, the company of the White Horse. It's a lot of archers and a lot of um, light cavalry. And there's the great company there. They've all got about four and a half thousand men. I think we just hire one of these ones. Let's just go ahead and hire one of these. We need to wait a couple of months before we do anything because we need them to actually get their um, uh, morale up. The people of Calliopolis have progressed beyond our technological level. Okay, so we've managed to get some more tech. Uh, mission to Rome has been a success, so we've managed to make the Pope like us a little bit more. So yeah, we, we're basically just going to try and march on and get independence if we can. Okay, let's pause up because we're at pretty much full morale. Um, our council are unhappy, but there's not really an awful lot that we can do on that. Uh, the county of Amens, which is this one here, which belongs to the other king. The king of, uh, is it West France here? Yeah. So we don't want to be starting with them just yet. But let's go ahead and give this a try. We're also actually, before we do anything, just going to go and slow the game right down. So we're going to go in and we want to declare war for independence. And we can send that declaration. There we go. We are now at um, war. So we want to... We've still got some money. Most of our levies is our own levy, not our vassal's levy. So we definitely want to get that all together. 
So let's get you guys all the way up here. Let's get everybody in the capital, actually. And you guys should be able to safely get down here. There are no open borders in uh, in CK2. Let's make sure that we've got some commanders. We want our council. Um, we want minor titles. We want to show only the commanders. Uh, it looks like we've got all of the commanders that we can appoint. So that's fine. We just need to put them into an army. And what you've got to remember as well is the actual uh, mercenary army will come with its own commander anyway. Um, we could put some more commanders in these slots either side. So let's just go and throw a couple in actually, just so that we've got um, got some in. I could go and lead it myself if I, uh, if I wanted to. My combat skill's not all that bad. I wouldn't want to get killed during a battle though, so um, we won't really bother doing that. But we can march straight in uh, over here and start sieging out already so let's go ahead and do that and yeah i think we've easily got enough troops to um take this guy on so like we've got a very small um army of archers there let's go and speed things up a little bit the, there are far fewer troops here than i expected there were going to be um, we might even be able to um, disband the levy. Not the levy, the... Um, yeah, be able to put the levy down. Let's go ahead and group you guys up. Um, we'll go and put you over here. We'll just try and siege out multiple provinces at once if we can. I really don't know where his armies are. Was he involved in another war that I was unaware of? Um, no, I'm the only person he's at war with. Uh, one child lacks a focus. This is my son. He's rowdy and willful and curious, but I think we'll give him a martial education as he's rowdy and willful. So that'll really help out with that. Obviously, it costs us quite a lot of money um, to keep these mercenaries up, but we are also getting money from uh, looting at the same time. So we can go and siege down multiple holdings all at once and get some more troops together. Uh, what have we got here? Vassal levies raised too long. You know what? Once I've got everybody in friendly territory, I think I will actually go and just put the vassal levies down. We don't need them. There's only about 600 troops, so that's not too bad. Uh, my daughter has finished her education in diplomacy. She's a grey eminence, so that's not too bad at all. Um, who is this? This is my half-sister. Impressing everyone with her sensible choices and great capacity for self-restraint. So she can become just, or she can lose conscientious and become temperate. Um, well, temperate would give her a lot more stewardship. Let's go and do that, and then we can, you know, farm her out to somebody to make a good wife. Uh, we haven't made much progress here, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring this army back. And then, like I said, I'm going to, excuse me a bit, my voice is breaking a little bit. I think I've got a bit of a cold coming. Uh, so what I'll go and do is I, I will um, disband all of my uh, vassal levies. So let's just go in here and tell the vassal levies that they can, um, uh, yeah, dismiss vassal levies. There we go. So now the only troops that we've got up are our own, essentially. So you guys can go over there. You guys can go over there. As long as you've all got at least one commander... Um, you're missing a couple. Let's just go and... Th oh, you were the bottom guy anyway. I just want to throw a few people in just so these armies do have some... Um, generals. You'll have to do for now. And uh, we'll unpause. So I'm not really seeing many armies coming from these guys. They've got a few guys around. Mission to Rome has been a success, so we're really getting the Pope to like us. Uh, we're already up to 5% war score. 5% war score is not a lot. I bet the Pope doesn't like me enough to want to give me any money, though. Uh, request money. Says maybe. Well, that's great. We are at war, though we're at war against other um, Catholics, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the uh, Count Nibelung of Chardonnay, who is my half-brother, has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning the Count Childebrand. Who is my other half-brother. 
is sexual preferences. How should I use this juicy information? Uh, expose and denounce him publicly, giving me a reason to arrest him. So you like me, but only a little bit. You are on the council. You're a powerful vassal. Your scholarship focus. Because I was just going to send him off to the church anyway. I'm going to threaten him to stay out of factions. Because I think he was one of the ones that did start factions against me. So we've got a little bit of blackmail information. Um, your low character is a subject to the, uh, is denied. Yeah, so basically uh, the Pope's just told us to get bent. That's fine. Uh, we're now running out of money. And now we've run out of money and the, um, well, at least they, were ding they went hostile to us, but at least they disbanded. They didn't just outright attack me, which could have been problematic. So we do have some issues. Now, these guys do have some troops around, but we can probably deal with them. We can raise the vassal levies back up if we need to. De they've definitely got some issues of their own going on there. Uh, my dear son Nibelung must have suffered a stroke in his sleep last night. He was found drooling in bed. This keeps happening to our children, doesn't it? That's like the third son that's died through sleep horrors. We don't have all that many left. Which is the one that we believe is possessed? Was it Theodric? It's one of these guys. Adelaum. I can't remember which one it was now. You're infirm, so I doubt it was you. You are shrewd, just cruel Grey Eminence. Could be you. I really can't remember which one it was. You're lustful, stubborn, erudite, brave, homosexual. Oh, well, our children definitely run the gambit, don't they? Um... Oh, we've managed to fabricate a claim on the county of La Marche, which cost us some gold to use it. I don't think we can afford to do it right now. We literally have no money, and we are at war for independence, so... We might want to um, just leave things as they are. So we'll carry on with these sieges. There's definitely something else going on up here. Uh, another child lacks a focus. This is our daughter. You are going to be, um, what now? You are ugly. You're ugly and greedy. Uh, we'll just go and get you some etiquette then. Uh, we have a victory somewhere. We probably are going to need to siege out some more of these holdings, to be honest. Let's make sure we've got a good group of commanders in each of these armies. You can't click on the flag. You have to click on the actual army itself. Um, where, where have all of our commanders gone? Um... Where are we? Council, minor titles, just show commanders. Apparently we can have six commanders. Uh, oh, we've collected a tithe, which is fantastic. Now, there is a strange thing that this game does do sometimes with uh, army commanders, which is where it puts people in charge of... Uh, where can we see it? Reorganize unit. Here. It actually puts people in charge of individual little um, groups. So, I don't want to be uh, leading that. So, let's go and do that. Let's go and look on this other army. Yeah, see, so you've got three commanders. I mean, I guess I could go in here and lead the uh, lead the outer flanks. So, we'll continue to try and siege these out. What have we got here? Message about an arranged betrothal. So, this is my half-sister marrying the Prince of Bavaria. So, we'll go ahead and do that. This is another one. This is the King of Asturias wants to marry my daughter to the Prince of Asturias. Yep, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. There's a victory. Oh, that's um, that's a revolt, so I don't need to worry too much about that one. I uh, want another siege there. Um, so this is my son marrying a random countess. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Still got a dangerous faction, of course. We do have to be careful with that. And we do need to really try and get our um, vassals to like us a bit more. The opinion of our vassals at the moment is actually quite low. 
particularly this guy. Uh, why do you dislike me so much? There's another victory there and another one. Oh, got a few of these to sort out. Let's just have a quick look at you. Uh, why do you dislike me so much? Because you were fired from the council and you want to be on the council. Well, I can't put you back on the council until that fired from council um, thing goes away anyway. You can do nothing else there because that's fully sieged out. So we'll go and move you over to the capital. Um, I should take it easier. We've become wrath. Gives us another plus three marshal. Wow. If only we could siege things out a little bit more quickly. We'd be very, very good here. Don't really like this revolt. You'd think they'd be able to deal with that a little bit more quickly than they are. That's now fully sieged out. So let's move, over, move you over to Rems. And then we've got to come up here and start sieging all of this stuff out as well. The other possibility, of course, is that we could just end up uh, capturing the king. Um, oh, we, we, we need to move our um, chancellor somewhere. So where's this count that doesn't like me? You are um, the Count of Auxerre. And is that where you are currently based? Reigning in Auxerre. Okay, so if we take our... It's been so long since I played this. We take our Chancellor and get you to improve diplomatic relations in Auxerre. Maybe you will sort things out with that. We are actually making money again now, which is good, even though we've got our own levies raised. Um, an alliance? Sure. Now, this is an alliance with um, Asturias, which is basically northern, um, northern Iberia. Yeah, sure. Why not? So what I could do if I wanted now is call him into the war, but I don't think we need to. Not yet, anyway. Um, these sieges are going to go quite slowly. We need 37% war score. Not too sure what we're going to do then with our newfound independence. And again, we have ourselves another victory. Uh, this is our daughter. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. But I went downstairs and discovered Eremensidis... Opening one of my letters. I'll teach her to be nosy. We can make her cruel. And or we could... Um, she can lose the prestige. Well, she can lose the prestige. That doesn't really bother me. So we're still sieging these places out. This room is about to fall. How many holdings are left here? Still uh, still a couple. Um, oh, I'm wounded. Today at court, your hunting dog suddenly um, started raging. Tore loose and attacked one of your courtiers. Now, which character is that? Is it me or is it the courtier? It didn't appear to be me. Okay, fine. That's good, as long as I'm not the one that's wounded. There's another siege victory. Now, we don't have enough people here to siege the rest of this out, so we might have to have a look up and see if we can siege one or two of these provinces. But there's definitely something else going on up here, which is a little bit concerning. So are these guys. I'm hoping that uh, West Francia will deal with those. Let's send you guys up to... Um, Hi, no, no, you still can't deal with that. Yeah, our ruler's in that army. We probably don't really want to be that far forward. So let's come back. Another son... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. My voice is really not happy today. Another one of my son is dying in his sleep. Do you know, actually, this is not a bad thing. Because if I end up with just one surviving son, um, then is this is this the devil child? Imnachar. Young Imnachar loves physical games and is developing a strong physique. T teach him to become brave. Or we can get him to lose rowdy and become brawny. So martial plus one would become martial plus two diplomacy, health, personal combat skill. Yes. Have that. Um, yeah, I think what will happen is if we end up with just one son, that'll be fine. Um... It, that really will be fine. Let's go ahead and just group this army together and then I'm going to stop leading it. There we go. A lot safer now. So finish sieging this out. Um, more soldiers. Brilliant. And we're making quite a lot of money while we're doing this war as well. Um, betrothed can marry. So who is this? This is... Um, so they already are, although they are betrothed. So this is the King of Asturias to my daughter. And that's weird because the son... No, I thought this, one of the sons was married to somebody or another. Heir to the Kingdom of Asturias. 
thought you had somebody that was married. To. Anyway, uh, we'll go and do that. Uh, looks like we've spotted the white stag again. We've still never managed to catch the white stag. But this is all giving me some extra prestige, which helps with basalt opinions. There is still a very dangerous faction. We haven't checked on that for a while. Let's go have a, have a look at the intrigue. So there's a couple of uh, threats. But what about factions? Yeah, it's this guy. It's the one we're trying to suck up to. He's been a real pain. There's a few people in it that actually like us. If we can ask them to stop supporting um, the, the faction. Um... Used to be an option to do this. Doesn't look like we can anymore. Oh well, we shall carry on. But we shall carry on in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Crusader Kings 2. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.